John Fox and Tunnel John West, I'm Hagrid, I'm going on for V3, Killing Harmony Adventure, and uh, oh no, oh he's been caught, he's been caught doing murders, Kurikio Shinguku Shinjuju, oh. I can't press the button that there's the recap, oh uh, the ultimate anthropologist, you're the culprit behind these murders, I'm just going to slightly move my uh, microphone, The complete. That's where my detective work leads us. It all fits. And I should have just went with that rather than being more convoluted. I literally said there's only one reason to do it, two reasons to do a seance, either to catch a murderer or to do a murder, and then I picked someone else. So I failed, so I just just didn't think it'd be him. I'm crap at this, apparently. Sweet Correggio. There are times when it's necessary to admit defeat. Uh, admit? Yeah. Okay. So you finally admit you did it? Unfortunately, yes. Yes, it's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. My one regret, my only regret, was not being able to make 100 friends. What? 100 friends? <laughs> it was my dream to make 100 friends. Oh, it's so unfortunate! I was so close to 100! W what are you talking about? I do not understand a word of this. Who gives a fuck? Let's vote for this kooky bastard and be done with this already! Roger that! One voting time! Coming up! The heart racing excitement as... The heart racing excitement! As a blackened and a spotless finally face off! It's voting time! Yay! Oh no, who's gonna murder? This is going to get controversial soon, isn't it? Right. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Jackpot, baby! Uh, I don't know what that says. Delay! I thought I got a black a back loop. Seriously? Absolutely right! Hmm. You're cor- hang on, I missed landing there. Wow, seriously? You're correct again! Amazing! This is the third correct verdict in a row! Oh wow, I can't do the voice at this point, can I? 
If you manage to get 12 correct verdicts in a row, you'll proceed to the bonus round. Hey. How's this gonna last that long? For now. It's finally over. No. Not yet. I haven't heard his answer yet. Keo, why? Why did you kill Angie and Tenko? Right. Yeah, he need to he no need to kill them both, no matter what motive he have. Oh. Motive? Hey! Did your motive have something to do with the transfer student who was resurrected? Even if it did? Well, how did that trigger a murder? Hey, hey! Don't tell me! You are actually scared of the resurrection ritual, Kaito! Shut up! I never said I was scared! <laughs> the resurrection ritual had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it? I. Because we're friends, I'll tell you. I never once believed in the ritual. I would never kill someone over such a silly thing as that. What? So it has nothing to do with the motive. Yeah. Then why? Yes. For the one that I love. There is someone that I love. From the bottom of my heart. Someone so dear. Someone I long for. Is it his sister? I love her with all my heart. And she loves me with all her heart. Yes, we vowed an endless love to each other, forever bound by fate. None can come between us. We are bound by an intense love. No matter what anyone says. What? Bragging about your perfect love life? Fuck you, some of us aren't that lucky. To see this love of yours, you had to escape? Don't tell That's me. That's why you killed Angie and Tenko. But why did you need to kill both? <laughs> if you had asked if I did this to escape this place, my answer would be no. Wonderful. Because I have no need to escape this place. The one I love is inside. Inside? Wait! Don't look at me. I'm not his lover. Yeah. Calm down. No one would want a disgusting shit stuffed bitch like you anyway. Kersploosh! What, 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 what? Kersploosh, she said then. Hey! Keo! Who is it? Who is this person you love? I demand to know! Hey. Is it really one of us? <laughs> when I say I inside, I feel like they should be pretty obvious at this stage. It's the girl inside him. He's He wanted to wake her in the seance. He really wanted to do the seance. Why did you need to kill someone for your sound? When I say inside, I do not mean inside this academy. You see, I mean inside me. Sister. Yes, the one I love lives inside me. My dearest sister. Huh? Sister. Wait! Don't look at me. I'm not his sister. Right? Well, duh. If you were his sister, he would have killed himself already. Wait. Your sister? But didn't you say she was your lover? Whatever is the matter. It is not mu that difficult. My sister is my lover. I loved her so deeply. And she loved me so deeply. The fact that we were siblings meant nothing to us. They called it forbidden love. But none could stop the love we shared. Oh, Japan. Oh, how I long for my sister's warmth. And I say, oh, Japan, because you might say Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, or the internet. Have you ever looked at the internet? But this is doing it in a very fetishy way. Anyway. The only time I felt at peace was when I was enveloped in my sister's warmth. Notice that his sister doesn't have a name? Because it's the relationship, that the, the fact that she's a sister, that's important to the story, right? That's why I'm calling it a fetish. If this was a real relationship, he would be using, like a real life, because this does occasionally happen in real life, right? Pretty rarely, and I'm pretty sure 
accidentally most of the time, and obviously many evil times and stuff like that. But he'd be using her name, not how they're connected. For my beloved sister. I had to. Always messing around. You had to escape from here, right? Why is they making it look? Because it's really obvious what happened. Now I know who the killer is. No. I had to kill for her. Huh? What? Sister. It was very sickly. She was always in and out of the hospital ever since she was a child. Because of that, she didn't have many friends. She always seemed so lonely. However... Even if I could be her little brother and her lover, I couldn't be her friend. That was a step too far! Oh. So I thought I'd find her some friends. Friends for my dear deceased sister. Hmm, what you say? Huh? Deceased. Do you understand? I was trying to quote dear sister. Uh, my sister is now a ghost. So her friends should be ghosts too, right? For my beloved sister. For sister's sake, I've killed many to send her 100 friends. <laughs> they were all wonderful people, worthy of being sister's friends. Huh? What? Incomprehensible. This is too impossible to understand. Too impossible. Sister. Sister is very happy. Yes. Kareev Keo. I'm very happy. Thanks to you, I'm not lonely. W what? Could it be? That lipstick version of Keo is... I am Karekio's older sister. Thank you for looking after my little brother. Wh what? The hell? After I lost my beloved sister, I was so distraught, I nearly went mad. But sister came to save me. I am pleased. She visited me during one of my seances and stayed inside me. Sister. Now, <laughs> now I can see her whenever I want. I'm never lonely. Correcchio. That's wonderful, Correcchio. Your love made the impossible possible. Are you serious? Is he this really a spirit? I told He's you. He's just delusional. <laughs> what a sad girl who can't even believe in the power of love. Ew. Either way, he's totally out of his mind. I mean, he killed for a dead chick. Well, you, know. you said you killed a lot already, right? So it wasn't just the two you killed here? What was that? What? <laughs> Seems like he was already crazy before he got here. Because? You didn't kill to escape from here. That wasn't your purpose from the get-go. <laughs> you just wanted to slaughter a bunch, huh? Unacceptable. Do not make me out like some bloodthirsty, indiscriminate killer. I only kill girls who I think are worthy of being sister's friends. Huh? Only girls. I see. So when we were deciding on who should be the medium. Oh yeah, I did so. Uh, um, you said it would work best with a girl. I, I spent my time evaluating all the girls here. Wonderful. And besides Maki and Miu, they were all worthy. Which one's Maki again? I think it's funny that it, Miu is one of them. Um, ah, okay. Because she kills people. All worthy of being sister's friends. Yeah? All worthy? Why you? Hey, how come I'm not included? I mean, not like I care. Then... The second victim could have been me. Tenko died in place of me, yet it's not your fault. Yeah. Excellent. Imako would have been great, but Tenko volunteering made me so happy. A noble, earnest heart made her a perfect friend for sister. Wonderful. She even infiltrated the student council to protect Himiko. Huh? Infiltrate? Really? But... How did you... <laughs> it was obvious to me. I've studied many people. 
Uh, yes. Can this be? She stood up against the darkness of the school who by herself. All for her beloved friend. Beautiful. She was so touched by that. Wonderful. She was the perfect friend for sister. <laughs> I can't understand why you didn't like her, Himiko. Well, though, I was planning on having you become sister's friend too, eventually. No way! What? You do all that for... Hmm. Wow, you did all that just to kill. For you to go that far, that's pretty impressive. You were interested in the caged child, just so you could use it to kill someone, right? Let's see. It interested me as an anthropologist, of course, but more than that. For my beloved sister! I wanted to kill the sister! I cannot deny that overwhelming, uh, p overpowering feeling! Are you okay? You, ca you look kind of pale. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Let's focus on Kyo right now. Oh, Kaito's in trouble for the next plot. Mm. Allow me to explain, though. I did not plan to kill both of them. I knew that I would have plenty of chances after escaping this place. However... But Angie walked in on me, preparing, and I ended up killing her a different way. So I figured I may as well kill someone else, too. <laughs> after all, it would be a shame just to waste the seance trick I prepared. What is that? You're talking like... You took killed her just because you could. Mm. No, not just because I could. I was sending another friend to sister. Correcio. You're such a thoughtful little brother, but it was bad to get greedy. Oh dear. Their eyes changed, like I've been trying to see. I knew there was a subtle difference. Is it different color eyes? Was... You're right. Because of that, now I can't send 100 friends to sister. <laughs> Do you understand now? Those were the circumstances of Kurikio's crime. She has purple uh, makeup around her eyes. <laughs> Do not understand. This is all too impossible for me to understand. Why? That's right. Killing two friends for your dead sister. But how? That's wrong. That's so wrong. <laughs> oh, don't get so worked up. There's something I learned after sister's death. Do not worry. Death only changes a person's form. The soul lives on as a ghost. That's right. Even though I'm a ghost now, I'm always by Kurikio's side. Sister. Thank you, sister. I love you. <laughs> Got it out already. What was that? I don't understand anything you're saying. Nothing makes sense. It's not fair. Why did Angie and Tanko have to die for something so unfair? Well... Because death is unfair! Yeah. And another... Thing. All deaths are unfair deaths! Why do you think news stations get such high ratings when they're reporting about death? <laughs> because everyone likes unfair deaths! Maybe... Well, if you look at it like that, this whole killing game embodies that philosophy, right? Gifted high school students forced to play a killing game! Man, if people were watching this, they would get a kick out of it. If people were watching this, Shut if up! people were narrating my words, knock off the bullshit. Only sick fucks would enjoy watching this. You got me. Well, yeah. If I wasn't in this killing game, I'd have so much fun watching. So then, <laughs> the nature of this killing game is yet shrouded in mystery. <laughs> but my role <laughs> in it is over. I have finished my explanation. To you, friends. Sister. I shall go and see her now. My beloved sister. Sister. I was unable to send her 100 friends, but at least I can see her again now. Correcio. It's all right, sweet Correcio. Come to me. Oh. Looks like you're already prepared. Now then, let's get started. It's punishment time! It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Huh? Punishment time. Sister. My beloved sister, at long last, I'll finally get to see you again. That's right. Yes. From now on, no one will try to stop us. We can be together without having to hide our love from others. What? Wait. I can't accept this. Therefore. Like I said, there's no such thing as death that can be accepted. 
from an anthropological Why do you think so many cultures have funeral rites? Why do you think rumors of ways to resurrect the dead never cease? Yes. The living must find a reason, however forced, to accept death when it happens. How you come to terms with death also determines how you live. Or as Metallica put it, your lifestyle determines your death style on your lifestyle. Sorry. <laughs> That's genuinely a song from Metallica. Uh, from St. Anger. The best album there. Um, Laughter. Okay, I'll stop that. Um, what was that? What? I... That was the answer I reached. How about you? How will you live a life that faces death? Now then, I... I prepared a very special punishment. For the ultimate anthropologist, Kurikio Shinkuchi. I shall observe. I shall watch over you all as a ghost. As your friend, I will watch over you. That's right. It won't just be me, Kurikio. All those who died will be watching. I'll be waiting to see how you face your, the death of your friends. Humanity is beautiful. I'll be watching forever and ever. It's punishment time! Let's give it everything we got. You're found guilty. Time for punishment. That's a kettle of fish. Cultural melting pot. Both gonna die. Deny them that. <laughs> why did she do that? I get why he did that, but why did the ghost do that? Hmm? What? How gory! No, what a damn why! My cute child would commit suicide. Yay! It's so cute. It's so freaking cute that he would kill himself because he couldn't get along. <laughs> <laughs> what a time committed suicide. Had I known this would happen, I would have been nicer to him. The only reason Monotime obsessed over getting along is because everyone but me bullied him. That's right. Yes. The other monocubs drove him to suicide, but not me. Hey. Hey, uh, who's Monodam? Eh? Yo, what if I can't? That's kind of scary. Well, now. It looks like another class trial is wrapped up without incident, so... I'm gonna take back this here Necronomicon. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Seems like a waste, though. You guys sure you don't want to use it? <laughs> you guys should have brought someone back to life and added them to your roster. You. Shut up! How long are you gonna keep talking about that? I told Ignore you. Ignore him. The whole resurrection ritual is obviously a lie. He's trying to shake us mentally to get us to panic. What's the point? I'm assuming you'll think another murder will happen if you do that, right? <laughs> Who can say? Hmm. What a waste. If none of you were going to use it, you should have let me have it. 
I could have resurrected one of my dead siblings. Um, Which one? Eh? I don't know. They were all pretty terrible, actually. Mm. Wait, did one of us die? I could have sworn it's just been been just the two of us this whole time. Just like our Star Trek episode, where it's just Beverly and the captain. Oh, yeah. It's too bad you missed your chance to raise the dead. That's what you get for doubting me. <laughs> <laughs> too bad. So long. Farewell. Two voices now. Uh, um... Even now he still talks about raising the dead. Always messing around. Man, this is stupid. What people believe is up to them, but... Living people shouldn't have to suffer because of the dead. Of course! The living are more precious than the dead, no matter what! <sighs> That's not something a coward like you should say. <laughs> Shut up! Leave me alone. But... This one thing this case taught me. I thought there was a god watching over us, but... <laughs> there isn't one after all. Not in this academy. Mm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, that's why we have to work together, right? Face it together. Our ultimate talents are the best weapons we have. Go to do his best. Got to do his best to protect everyone safe. Got to want to protect everyone. Um... But your talent is etymology. I don't want Suichi to use his ultimate talent anymore. Getting sick of class trials. You're right. <laughs> Your talent as an assassin is way more trouble. When you're gonna use that, huh? Okay. I'll work hard. Till everyone trusts my ultimate talent. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. It may not be possible now, but I'll put in the effort so everyone can trust me. I am. Won't run away anymore. Want to survive and escape this place with everyone. Maki! <laughs> I see! I wonder how long that'll last. What if your true calling is a killer shows? <laughs> don't underestimate her. Maki rolls one of my sidekicks. Got a minute? I don't remember being your sidekick. Also, didn't I tell you to stop calling me Maki Roll? Oh. You guys are so close now! This must be a the powerful bond of friendship. Mate, me and you are full. We're full. But I would have preferred it to happen sooner. Especially not after losing seven people. He's, he's nice, he's nice. <sighs> You're right. Only nine people left now. <laughs> what do you know? The dumbass can, can do basic math. That's right. Seven pieces of shit have flushed away, and only nine remain. Actually... By that calculation, doesn't that make you one of the pieces? But... Just nine of us. Well, you know... Humans are like weeds! Too numerous to count. Seven of us dead doesn't mean much in the end. Shit. That's totally what the heartless robot is thinking, right? Right? How rude! No, I'm not thinking that! Your blatant robophobia is simply inexcusable. But you know... Hey, but hey, hey! None of us gave up, right? I know we're going to escape. I'm not going to rely on God's spirits or the dead. I believe in you. Believe in the me that believes in you. Okay. Kaito. Well, of course. All right. Those of us who remain can start over. Hey, hey. Hold up, Keyboy needs to apologize to everyone for the whole student council thing. Hmm. There's only one kind of apology that I'm willing to accept. How exciting! Yank your head up and smash it onto the ground with all your strength. Got that? No way! I've never heard such an intense form of apology. It seems like everything is settled for now. Even though we're missing her. You alright? Miko, you okay? Anything Gonta can do to help, you can tell Gonta. Hey! I think we should... Let her have some space for now. That might be best for her. Okay. I remember how I felt. Oh. <laughs> gone, gone to understand. You're so dumb. God, Himiko is such a liar. Huh? Because I'm a liar. Personally, I don't think lies are exactly a bad thing. Let's face it, you wouldn't have any free will in the world if the world was comprised with just the truth. But... Even then, 
I don't think it's good to lie to yourself, you know. Right? What are you saying? Think about Himiko's feelings a little bit. Nuh uh. I only said this because I thought about it. Because. Himiko's been lying to herself about her own feelings, so she's been holding back. Hey! What are you repressing? Why are you trying so hard to hold back? What? Hold back. It's expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. That's how I remember her talking. So if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better when you do. I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. Inventing your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Train your heart by crying. Laughing and venting your anger, Himako. Thank you, Angie. I'm so lonely. I've forgotten how to do a voice. I'm I'm so lonely without you two. But I gotta survive. I still can't go to where you are I'm so lonely I'm so lonely without the both of you <laughs> Himoko damn it <laughs> Himoko cried for a long time I timed it and everything it was a while She cried as if she were releasing all the emotions she had bottled up inside. Before we knew it, as if lured by her doing so, we began crying. The tears we shed, I can't describe it. I'm going to though. Uh, we were crying about what we had been through and what was to come. Sadness, hatred, frustration, discord, anger, love. Tears filled with emotion. But at the very least, they weren't tears of submission. They were tears to push us forward. After a while, Himiko finally calmed down. However... Is she hard to carry, Gonta? That's a creepy-ass face that Gonta's put on right there. I don't know if it's supposed to be. No, she fine. She's sleeping very peacefully. She's all tuckered out after crying. Robots sleep well after leaking their oils too, right? I have told you many times that I do not use oil as my fuel source. But wow, that really surprised me. She passed out as soon as she stopped crying. Yeah, but she looks so peaceful sleeping like that. She probably felt better after letting it all out, don't you think? Yeah, I hope so. Then go to carry Himiko to her room. <laughs> Make sure you focus real good on your back, you hear me? What? Is that supposed to be an innuendo? Because I don't get it. You'll need that focus if you want to feel her little mosquito bites poking ya! Okay then. I continue to be surprised by Japan. I... I didn't think it was possible, but I... it is possible. There's no way he'd do such a thing. Gonta is a gentleman after all. I've... I've got somebody at work who's playing this game as well, and she pointed out to me, like, gentlemen, and the way people on the internet use gentlemen, and she's completely ruined Gonta's character for me. It's like, oh, of course. It does, like, he sounds like a fedora person talking about being a gentleman. It's like, oh no, but he's just a blanket guy. While we were heading back to the dorms, 
I suddenly noticed. Kaito had stopped in his tracks. Hmm, Kaito, what's wrong? Oh, nothing! I just wanted to get some night air! Don't worry about me! Go on ahead. Are you sure? Well... Anyway, don't do something like this any again, okay? If you dislike scary things, then you should have said so earlier. I thought you were s You worried about me? <sighs> oh, yeah. Worried about your stupidity. <laughs> she still haven't warmed up to me, huh? Maybe what? not, but I feel like the walls are we had up are coming down a little, you know? Perhaps those walls were her enemies. It seems she doesn't want to wait anymore. Yeah, because of me! Uh, yeah, okay. maybe. You sound like you're bragging, Kaito. But ah. I, like, like I said, I'm going to get some air before I go back. You can go on ahead. Okay. Sure. Got it. See you tomorrow. Got yeah, it. see you tomorrow. After our goodbyes, I returned to my dorm room. I didn't notice what was going on with Kaito. Ah. <coughs> ah, he's, he's still ill. Damn it! Oh, no, he's got an anime cough! It's anime and, like, 40s American stuff. You got tuberculosis. I don't have time to be dying. I still haven't gone into space yet. Damn it. No way am I gonna die here. No way. It's the end of the chapter, and I think I'm gonna cut this episode short because it would be it's long enough that I can cut it, but like it'd be really awkward to uh Continue and immediately stop. Got a mysterious mask in the graveyard slot. Okay, I think we've got a title for the episode, Graveyard Slot. And I'll name the last episode 100 Friends, even though that's going to make no sense at all. Um, until the next episode, but yeah. I do want to save, and I'm going to let you go. I'd like to have a little bit of time to look in the book before I do that. Immediately press square. Immediately press square before I let you. A few days go. No, I can't. Ah. Hey there. Ah, oh, this sounds mysterious. Ah, uh, before we do any of that, right? I have got to change my form, right? Because well, I know the mastermind isn't Kurakio anymore. Let's remove him from the list of characters. Um. Hang on. So Suichi. Omota, Lanta, Oma, Kivo, Yumiko, Maki, uh, oh yeah, she's dead as well, okay, cool, Tabashira, uh, Tsumugi, she's dead, okay, cool, and Uma. I'll have to relabel that all up, I'll do that afterwards. Uh, oh, I can do that now. Um, we've only got nine people, which makes it quite convenient. Uh, let's move that one there. That into an H. That into an I. That into a capital I. And T. That's going to help me out loads. Ooh. S M G O one H I T I. I think you're on the chopping block. I know I've been saying this the entire game. There's no way she survives to the end. No way! She's gonna survive. Uh, well, it kind of looks like he's on his way out anyway. So he's gonna be killed before that. I think he's gonna die next. I'm gonna make that prediction now and I might change it. But I'm gonna make that prediction now. You are the next victim. Uh, Mr. Momota. 
Cool. Not sure about Gunter. Looks very angry there. I'm going to let you go because I'm not going to make any more predictions and it will take ages. Uh, but I've been John Foxing and killing John of the Lost. I've been having a dirt Grand Romper. Killing game, monkey. Did what? Be free, killing harmony adventure. That's what I meant to say. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching.